Welcome back everybody. Today we are in the pro late models at Eldora. We were fifth fastest in practice. There's a lot of really fast guys here. So getting a top five in the main is going to be rewarding. It's going to be a challenge for sure. But let's go into qualify and see how we do. The track came completely clean. So we had to kind of wear it in during practice and it worked out pretty well. The track was getting better every lap. But I know by the time the uh, A main comes, it's going to be destroyed. And this is an open setup, so you actually have to make a setup to run well in these usually. I'm not great at making setups, but I do what I can. It's not awful. Definitely wanted to get down a little bit more, but it's okay. Two solid laps. Ran a little nine five the second lap. It's not bad. Currently fourth. So that would put us in the second heat currently. But once everybody qualifies, we will see where we finished in qualifying and we'll go into the heats. And it looks like we qualified sixth, so we'll be in the second heat. And if anybody is interested, this is the setup I'm running for the qualifying and heat races. Tire pressures, I don't even know if I changed them or not. I think I probably messed with the stagger, that was about it. And then the chassis. I don't really know a whole lot to uh, these setups. I mainly changed the fuel because if you're running heat or qualifying, you're not running many laps. For the feature this setup's a little different because you need more fuel and that messes up the balance in the car so i mainly messed with like the trailing arms or the j bar height the axle j bar height oh down here and the ratio the gear ratio those are the main things i've messed with on this setup so if you're looking for a setup this is what i run just for the qualifying and heat and i have a different one for the feature so i can show you that once we get there And the first heat is about to take off, so let's watch their heat race, see how interesting it gets. Number one car got the pole. What? Number one car got the pole. Green, green, green. He got a huge start. Let's see where they run out, though. I'm mainly focusing on the leaders right now, and unless it gets too boring up here, then I'll jump back. I want to see where the faster guys are running at. I expect more like mid, and one and two top is definitely fast all the time. It's just gonna get worn out so quick up there. The A main's gonna be hard to run that top in one and two. Oh, third nearly got in a second. Go back a little bit. Jump back to their battle behind them. For the most part, people run in line. A little bit in three and four, people go to the bottom. I think the bottom works in three and four more than one and two. Unless you're gonna try to throw a slider, that's the only reason to go down there in one and two. Four car is trying to make that bottom work. I like his uh, the way his number is. Oh, and he's in the wall. And the four car try to catch number one. Highly doubt it. He's very consistent up there. There's a little groove coming in in the middle of three and four, it looks like. I struggle running right against the wall at this track once we get into the A man, usually. Pretty wide, man. I usually hit the back end on the wall because the late model, you have to get used to how long the back end sticks out. It's hard to do. I'm okay at it, not great at it. I hit the wall a decent amount, unfortunately. Four sent it in there. Oh, he just hit the one out. What a move, bud. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a move. I give it back to you, Jake. If it was my extent, man. <laughs> my bad. Going into the last lap, trying to do a crossover. We're getting so defensive, dude. I didn't get the base. Four cars, is he going to get it? Yeah, he held off second. He held. He got second out of that. Good race. It got interesting. I thought the four was gonna slam the wall. I got away. sandwiched in the wall pretty hard. Rip. <laughs> All right. Time yeah, for my heat race. Up. 
Coach Man, it's Man to you. Starting third here in the heat race. Hopefully we can keep this or move up a spot. That'd be great. Either way, we're going to be starting on the outside for the A main, which isn't awful, to be honest, because in one and two, you kind of want to be on the outside. Come on, everyone grid up. I don't know who we're waiting on. Alright. And we're about to go. Only eight laps in the heat. Not too many. It goes by pretty quick. Come on. One car. There you go. First place wasn't going for a second. Alright, man. Line up on the inside row. Get road is closed. I'm hoping we could gain a spot on this restart. That'd be nice. Seeing we had the entire. Where is the seven going? The seven's in the wall. And he's coming back. I don't know what he's doing. Texan driving something. I don't know. Eight quick laps for the heat. I don't think anyone's going to have to go through the constellation because there's only, there's only 14 of us. I think all of us go on to the A main. I think you can get up to a total of like 16 or 18 in the A main. Not 100% sure about that. They might have changed it. I think it used to be 18. It might have changed it though now. Get ready. There's only 14 of us in this race. So everybody should make it straight through. Get a good restart here, hopefully. Not amazing. Green, green, green. The outside it gets too much momentum in that turn one and two. Got a good gap behind us though. Gotta watch out the guys in front of me smacking the wall too. That will definitely get you in, in some trouble. Two mainly, and I'm just here. Oh, it's six in the wall. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. Out of that, we'll be starting what fourth in the A main. It's not bad. Great job, it was a good race there at the end. That was a good race all together, pretty much through the whole heat. It's pretty tight. Messed up a few times. I want to go back and see how close we were at the end there. Uh, he was at my wheel, so it was pretty close. I need to switch over to my feature heat. My feature heat, I don't know how much different it is. I didn't really pay attention, but here it is for you real quick. If you want to see it, you can pause the video. Copy it if you want. I had to up the uh, fuel by a gallon because now caution laps don't count towards the laps. 
from the last time I ran this. So we'll see what where this goes. I'm not as confident in my feature setup as I am for the qualifying and heat setup. I like that setup a lot more. It's a lot more snug to me, and it works well. This this setup I have a little too loose. Hopefully it'll work out well because the track's not too worn in yet. It's gonna get pretty bad towards the end probably, but we'll see how we do. But I'm not like a magician at making setups or anything. I'm not great at it by any means. All right, man. Line up on the outside row now. Get road is closed. I just do what I can with my setups. Try to make it fit the way I like to drive. And that usually helps in some speed. Not everybody drives the same. So if you just completely copy my setup, it might not work for you. It might. I don't know. Depends on your driving style. A lot of people have different driving styles. I've tried some other people's setups and that they're just like crazy loose or crazy tight and I don't understand how they drive it. All right, man, we'll and then go green next time, bye. other people will try my setups, same thing. So it all depends on your driving style. That's the interesting part about setups. Not everyone, not every set, setup's gonna work for everybody. Or let's just say one setup. One setup's not gonna work for everyone. But I like running the fix series more. I wish these Pro Light models had a fixed series. These are my favorite cars of the race. On the dirt side, at least. Alright, man. Page cars in. Green, green, green. Alright, time to try to hug the wall and not smack it. All clear, all clear. Outside. Outside, it gets such a good run. All clear, all clear. The bottom's gonna go away at some point. I need to try to use it while it's here. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. I'm definitely not great up by the wall. So far, we're in fifth. We're in pretty well. Happy about that. I got way too tight, way too quick. I overcorrected it really fast. All right, man. And first off, lap four. Pretty tight racing up front here. Oh, pace car. Yeah, by. let me let the pin car by, even though I couldn't see him for two laps. <laughs> You're blinking really bad, by the way. Pretty tight racing up here. We only lost one position, but we were starting on the outside. The two car was very fast. He was very fast in the beginning. He threw a good slider right in the beginning. Got up there. Yeah. I tried going back by him on the bottom and just couldn't get well, it. Shit. Do these have double or yeah, single you got your mic on? file restart? I think double, to my knowledge. Man, that's one of the hardest races you'll ever do. That my style got wrecked in another. That was pretty awesome. Very tight racing up here. It is good to watch. Fun to watch. Fun to be in. Spotter said clear a couple times. I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't trust a spotter on dirt for the life of me. Yeah, no, you wouldn't would, would would ever clear. We'll Alright, so it is All double right, file. Alright. I, I think the only thing that's single I'll wait file. Till I, see them in my rear view. I think the only thing single file is the uh, NASCAR Legends, to my knowledge at least. Unless you like manually do it in the hosted see, race. In the right side, right? They end up where they end up then. All right, hopefully we can get a good start here. Get ready. In the same lane as leader. He waited a few seconds last time. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Ooh, two car got in the wall. And big crash behind me. Saw it in the I have no idea what the hell just happened. You got one outside. All clear, all clear. No caution for that either. That's awesome. Yeah, there was a big wreck for sure. 
I saw it, this tank car oh, blinking behind me, I don't like that. I'm way too sideways. Yeah, Told you, my setup in the feature is not nearly as good as my qualifying. Clear, I don't like it as much. I need to work on it some more. Because the last time I ran here, I had seven gallons of fuel in it because the caution laps counted. Now the caution laps don't count, so I was being safe. Oh, fuck, wall. Got one outside. Being it, safe and uh, putting an extra gallon in it, and I had to tweak a couple things to try to make it feel better. Got one inside. All clear, all clear. over there's a guy right on the inside again like right with him yeah definitely work on this feature setup some more likes the bottom a lot more <laughs> I can tell you that much the top is a handful Point we lost all those spots though, it's gonna be hard to make back up if we can. I'm supposed to stay behind you see if we can run anything down real quick. Definitely still some grip all the way at the bottom there. Top's just the faster way around for the most part, especially one and two. Three and four, you can still probably work from mid to bottom. Looks like we've let it get away from that. Clear low, clear low. Yeah, one inside. Probably definitely way faster, I feel like. We got clear up on the top, that's good. Oh, that was close to the wall, I know that. I thought I was going to smack that. Eldora or Knoxville is definitely my favorite dirt track to run at. Eldora is a lot of fun. I think Knoxville just has more character to it to me. I think Knoxville is my favorite dirt track on night racing at least to run. I know they're coming out with, uh, what was it soon? I think they're coming out with Nashville on the oval side, like asphalt oval. Um, I think they're coming out with Weed Sport on the dirt side. So that'll be interesting. Two new tracks to run. I always love when new things come out. Yeah, one out. 
Very, very bottom has some grip left. Just barely, though. You have to really get down there. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. Definitely could have thrown a slider if I wanted to, but I actually am enjoying running this car. I just have to worry about hitting that inside wall. That's a lot worse than hitting the outside, in my opinion. It'll shoot you back up the track real fast. Hey, we're pretty much past them, though, on the bottom. Found something here at the end. A few laps left. It all depends on how well he rolls that top and how much momentum he gets. Because I feel like the top's definitely faster. Oh, I thought it was hitting the wall there. It all depends on how much he messes up up there. Or how much I mess up down here. Outside. This is just hard racing yeah, wherever you are. If it was hard oh, racing in the front, clear. I fell back some spots. It's kind of like where I guess I should be in the feature. Because my qualifying and heat setup is better than all clear, all clear. my feature. And uh, it's hard racing throughout the whole field. But hey, we pulled out eighth out of that. That was hard racing everywhere. Oh, God, they're wrecking. There's a check flag. That was close. That was good racing. Man, that was good. good job, driver. Got Something. eighth out of what? 14? <laughs> right Car number five. Definitely think I'm going to lose a little bit of yeah, rating, unfortunately. But we were yeah, making that well, work man. on the bottom there. When did I start going to the bottom? Right, right now I was running. I started going to uh, the bottom here. Uh, you well, definitely heard me man. start smacking the wall. Just a little, little bit of a change. It was a good race, though. I, yeah, I can't I believe I made it work down there. Can't tell me clean air don't help you a lot on here. I see it all the time, especially here. In I just am really bad up top and smacking that wall. Yeah, I'm really I bad at that. Too. I need to make my setup a little bit better. There, but... Gotta yeah, work on it for sure. On my setup, I only had one caution, dude. surprisingly. I, I, dead I want to go back and see that huge wreck right funny. after that That's restart, on though. The left, on the right. How is there no caution for that? Because I definitely saw it in my mirror. All right, I'll check that. Thanks, man. I'll catch you all later. All right, big dog. That was a good race. I can't believe that. Um, when did we have that restart? About here. Back in the pack, they started wrecking real hard. Or was it? Oh, the 11 and 6. Rip. That was our no caution for that, though. The two checked up. They got the one literally 90 degrees sideways. They about come to a complete stop, and there's no caution for that, surprisingly. So that sucks a lot for them. But let's go see how much I rating I either gained or lost. There's only 14. I think I lost a little bit finishing mid pack in number five car. I'm going to say I'm going to lose like about 20, 25 ish. There's a lot of good people in here, though. All right. Out the number one guy was pro. That makes a lot of sense. He was super fast. He won by just about four seconds. Jesus. Hey, I said about 20 to 25. I lost 28. That's not too bad. Lost 0.16 in the safety. I have a ton of safety to waste, though, so that's all right. My 4X is just from hitting the wall, though. But that was a ton of fun. Hopefully, hopefully I can do better in the next time I run in these pro lane models because these are my favorite cars to run by far on dirt. And it just sucks that they're open setups. I wish that there was fixed setups for them. Because I need to work on my feature setup for sure. My qualifying and heat were as great. I got all, I started in fourth and I just fell back slowly. Could have easily gotten ninth, but I started running that bottom at the end and got back a spot. So that was nice. But I appreciate all of you guys watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on the video. Uh, go watch my last dirt race that's here on screen. Or if you want to watch some of my oval, like I race and oval stuff on the asphalt, it will also be there, the playlist for that. And if you guys want to join the community discord, uh, it will be down in the description. I appreciate all you guys watching. I will see you guys next time.